have it. I'm driving it. First impressions, this car is awesome. But you guys already know that. Uh, I've been anticipating her for a while. I'm really happy I have this car. I don't want to say it's a world of difference between the hatchback sport and this car, but it's it's quite a difference. It's quite a bit of a difference. First thing you get in the car, the bucket seats are awesome. These things are this, these bucket seats are amazing. They hold you in. They're they're comfortable. The 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 material is very very comfortable. I'm not not sure how well it's gonna wear in, but awesome seats, awesome seats. Uh, and then you know you touch the, everything else. You know the 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 turn signals, the stocks. They're more they're more of a soft soft touch rather than the sport. In the sport, they're, they're very kind of plasticky. They almost feel like a Fisher Price toy. These feel more hefty. They're, they feel more premium. I mean to be honest with you. Uh, the radio, I kind of prefer the old radio to be honest with you, but I can I can see why people really like this video, this radio over the, the LX and Sport video. It has a lot more features, a lot, you know, I've, I've already synced up my phone. It's pretty easy to do. It took me two minutes to do, and, you know, I have my map on the big screen now. It's it's cool, but I don't know. I, I If I had the choice, I'd probably stick to the Sport, sport radio. You guys are going to kill me for that, but... That's just the truth. Saying that, it still makes the, the whole car feel way more premium. This feels like a $30,000 car. I don't care what anybody says. This feels like a $30,000 car. Or even even a $40,000 car. It just feels more premium. You know, the, the, everything you touch is a lot softer feeling. Everything you, you know, the, the steering wheel, while well, it's the same leather they use in the Sport, it's the, it's, it's the coloring, it, it stands out a little bit better. And then when you start driving, it just feels, it just feels taut. It just feels like it's ready to pounce. And you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm in sport mode now and the throttle response is just immediate and it just comes, it wants to go, it wants to go. It's waiting for me to just, you know, egg it on and go, go, go. You know, the, the R plus mode, it's even more so. It, the, the, it's very, very sharp. It's very, you know, it wants to go. Putting it in comfort, comfort mode, it kind of softens up, it softens everything up, but it's basically what normal mode in the the sport hatch would feel like. And I keep I keep comparing it to the sport hatch just because because I just drove four hours in the sport hatch and picked up this Type R after a lot of you know talking at the dealership. Everything at the dealership went fine. Uh, you know we had, obviously there's paperwork involved. I had it. I wanted to register in Pennsylvania, but I have my New York license. So I registered temporarily in New York. I had to change that to PA. Blah blah blah. You know, it is what it is. We got through it. Uh, Garber Honda, very nice guys. Uh, Brandon, I talked with Brandon over there. He's a really nice guy. You know, if you have anything to do, if you if you're in the Rochester area looking for a Honda, talk to Brandon. He's a good guy. You know, very easy, very easy going, never a problem. So, you know, I I give Garber Honda props. They were the ones that gave me the deal that I wanted. And uh, yeah, they were willing to negotiate. So hey, most dealerships were not. They were. They negotiated. We got a good price, and yeah, it was it was pretty easy. I gotta say, you know, I, sp I did spend three and a half hours at the dealership, but I think it's okay. You know, it, considering it, I was buying it out of state. You know, I'm, I barely, you know, basically had no paperwork filled out. I went in, filled out the paperwork, got everything done, got great, great deal on the finance, got a great deal on a bunch of stuff. I was gonna get the wheel and tire package, but since I'm gonna change the wheels and tires anyway, I said no to that. And yeah, now I'm driving it. So. Uh, I, I, I can go over the details if you really want me to in some other video put, put down in the comments if you really want me to but I doubt you guys will care um, the car feels amazing it's, it's way more comfortable than the sport I, I, I gotta admit the seats already I can feel more comfortable they do lack lumbar support you know none of the Civic seats have lumbar support I haven't driven the touring uh, trim yet so that might have lumbar support but this doesn't really have it uh, it's not electric. It's not an electric seat, so uh, you know maybe the eight-way adjustable seats and the EXL and the Tourings have lumbar support. This one doesn't. That's okay. Pretty comfortable as it is. I love the way it hugs me inside the seat. It kind of almost feels like the S2000 seats. Uh, if these were leather, they'd probably feel even more like the S2000 seats. Uh, I mounted the, the the phone exactly where the sport uh, where I had it in the sport hatch. Uh, perfectly fine there I love the red trimming everywhere on the, on the, on the interior it just feels it just feel like you're, you're in a more unique car and it is a unique car you know you feel like you're driving it 
I've been driving around just for 20 minutes now, and you know, everyone looks at it. People, you know, I stopped at a rest stop real quick to get a, uh, a little bit of water, and everyone stopped to look at it. They go, like, Oh, what is that? You know, I got a, had a couple guys go already go oh, come up to me and be like, Oh, what car is that? That's a Type R. I'm like, Yeah, it's a Type R. Uh, maybe they'll be they'll become new subscribers if you're if you're seeing the video. Uh, what's up, man? So that's pretty much it, guys. So I got a rush to get back. I got another basically a three and a half hour drive left to go. Uh, I gotta actually get there by seven. I gotta pick up Mrs. Flying Gato uh, to uh, from work from the bus station. So I gotta rush. Look forward to a lot more Type R content as we go along. Uh, I'm gonna be basically getting used to the car and breaking the car in for the next few days, couple of days. I'll be driving a lot, making videos. Uh, if you guys have any anything you want to see specifically, uh, please put them down in the comments. Just know that I'm ecstatic. I am so happy to be driving this car. It's the car I should have bought from the beginning, but you know the Type R wasn't out when I was in shopping for a car in November. This car fits my personality to a T. You know, it's, it's ready to go. It's, just, it's full of driver. You know, it has no driver aids, thank goodness. It's, it's got, you know, every comfort feature that you can want, except for that, which I love. The shifter already blew, blew my mind. I don't think you need to upgrade this at all. The shifter's spot on. I might disable the auto, uh, auto shift, the auto blip shift. So basically, you don't have to heel toe. I like heel towing myself, and I find myself doing it anyway. So I might disable that. I'm still, you know, I'm still wondering about that. But you know, it's very comfortable. I just, I can't say enough good things about it. The Civic Hatch Sport, awesome car. Probably one of the best cars for the price point, honestly. This car is 15 grand more, and you feel it. It's a great car. This is an amazing car. It's definitely worth the 15 extra grand. It's not just a 0.5 liter bomb or whatever. It's it's a bigger turbo. It's more responsive. It's everything you want in the Civic and more. All right, guys. Well, if you haven't yet, please go ahead and subscribe. I will be, like I said, be making tons of videos. Please post those comments below. I'll be happy to answer each and every one of your comments. I basically, I've been spending a lot of time now since I got a lot more comments now, spend, uh, answering comments. Have more, more than happy to continue to do that until until it takes me three or four hours a day. Right now, it's taking me about an hour a day uh, just to answer comments, and I'm perfectly fine with that. So please go ahead. Put, a, put your questions in the comments, put your comments in the comments. Happy to hear your feedback. And uh, as always guys, I'll catch you later. Peace out. I'm so happy. <laughs>